Yes. If you are a patriotic Nigerian who hears this message from me, Smart Mado Ajaja, the convener of Open Nigeria and Africa Unite, and the anchor of Nigeria Now at ONN and the Nightingale Radio International from Houston, Texas. Yes, Houston, Texas, United States of America. Please share this message, very important message. And this message is for the Sultan. All right? Who says Sultan of Sokoto, right? And the, all the Emirs in the north of Nigeria. Including the uh, Islamic scholar, Malam, the Olama, the those who call themselves Northern Elders, and the Northern political class, to share this message until he gets to each and every one of them. Now the message starts. You people have proven to be fearless, holding our brothers and sisters and children, children, children in captivity for a very long time for your own economic gain. You are selfish. You are greedy. You are wicked. You are savage. You are inhumane. You are insensitive and irresponsive. And mostly irresponsible. You are exploiters, abusers. Kidnap the destiny of the entire North and retard the growth and development of Nigeria. We are telling you that your time is up. Nobody is going to be tolerating your funky attitude. Did you hear that funky attitude? You have heard our country in captivity for free, going to the fourth generation. Because none of that can stop nothing. How long shall they kill our to show for our independence we stand of 63 going to 64 years? You instigated a genocide that you forced us to, the to believe was a civil war. You the facts are now imagined and are available to everybody, this song of freedom, including your own people that you misled to massacre Redemption a population, their own brothers and sisters, in 1967 and 1970. Sons of freedom. 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 It's a product of your atrocious behavior and Nigeria is telling you that your time is about up. Now, why are you afraid of protests? Why are you afraid of a rebellion? Why are you afraid of a revolution? If you are good, who have been kept in captivity. you call yourself northern um, leaders, you call yourself northern sultans, you call yourself northern elders, you call Nigeria yourself northern political elites. But a, a whopping majority down. of your people Nobody that you claim are yours, you divide the country into north and south. Does the country run like that? The north is like a competing so com country against the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of Nigeria. Yes, you called yourself not. Everything not. 
not on this, not on that, not on this, not on everything. But you have failed woefully, woefully to provide for the massive population of Nigerians in the north. Won't you have to sing? You use them as bargains, bargaining cheap. This song of freedom. So advance all your service ever, ever, ever. that only benefits you Redemption. and members of your family. Families Redemption. that are mostly in Saudi Arabia. Emancipate yourself in the United from Arab slavery. In the UK, have no and in the United States, you should be ashamed of yourself. That over 20 million Nigerian children, innocent and defenseless children, are so poor, extremely poor, under your watch. I ask Won't you, you governors to of the Northern States, what do you do with the budget? What do you do with the federal allocation that are given to you every month? What program of education have you created? to put all these children, even as young as six years old, are begging on the streets. But all of you live flamboyantly in criminal opulence. You should be ashamed of yourself. Those of you who sit down on drones, you should vacate your throne because you are total, you are total failure. Those of you who are governors or who the one political office or the other appointment, you are a disgrace. Some say it's just a part of the You use religion to repress our people. You use religion to blindfold them. You lie to them in the mosque. You lie to them everywhere. You make everything about Nigeria a competition between the north and south. A country that is supposed to be one Nigeria. We hear north, south. North, South. North, South. You are no nation builders. You are divisive. Divisive. You are hypocrite. You are bigots. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Now, why are you trying to prevent the Talakawas from protesting that they are hungry? You misled them to vote for a drug dealer, a certificate forger, and an identity thief, paired with one of your own, a known mastermind of terrorism and banditry. And you call it Muslim, Muslim ticket. Where are we now with your Muslim, Muslim ticket? Ahmad Gumi, where are you? You opened your silly, funky mouth to tell Nigerians that the security of Nigeria cannot be put in the hands of a Christian, as if Nigeria is about Christianity and Islam, as if Nigeria is no longer about Nigeria and the Nigerian people. You divide our people. Religion is supposed to be a personal business and not an affair of the state. Because if my memory serves me right, as I believe it does, after your sojourn on earth, you are going to be judged as an individual and never as a group.
The Almighty is not going to judge you based on your religious leaning. He's not going to judge you because you are a Muslim or a Christian or an animist or an African traditionalist. But he's going to judge you as Ahmad Gumi. But why have you constituted yourself into a nuisance, a hypocrite? You who, were, who was banned from entering Saudi Arabia because of your connection with terrorism and terrorist organization. When was the last time you visited Saudi Arabia for Hajj? And have your silly microphone misleading millions of people, especially the extremely poor women and children. You lie. You have become a mouthpiece for bandits and terrorists. The Almighty will visit you and judge you heavily. What are you preaching? You are condemned because you will not see paradise. Not with the way you comport yourself. You are a bloody terrorist. And like most of them in that north, from the traditional rulers to, to the uh, religious re leaders, all of you are involved with what is holding Nigeria down. All of you are involved with the mercenaries that are scattered all over our forests and farmlands that are preventing our people from accessing their farms. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Northern governors, northern leaders, northern elders, northern political class. You go to the Senate to hold Nigeria hostage. You are in the House of Representatives holding Nigeria hostage. How dare someone come to ask Nigerians to recognize animals as human beings so that they'll be given basic human rights. Yes, you produce all these type of animals and bring them to a hallowed chamber where serious national decisions are supposed to be taken. You are all hypocrites. You are all bigots. Now I tell you, the people of Nigeria in the north, when they decide to protest, you are not going to be able to hold them. Stopping them could come with very ominous con consequences. And you know that. We know you are afraid of losing your throne. We know you are afraid of losing your positions. Yes, your high-profile positions. There are consequences for bad choices. You made bad choices by denying the people access to opportunities. And so you have no right to peace. You have no right to enjoy your loot that you accumulated at the expense of the poor and to their detriment. You are the reason Nigeria has been reduced to a banana republic. I talk to you, Sultan, whatever you call yourself. You were the one who threatened the whole of Nigeria that nothing will stop the inauguration of Bola Ahmed Tenobu on May 29. 2023. Yes, the day came and passed, and you had your way. A few months later, you started complaining that the North will, will, will riot, they will rebel. Why? Because you were looking for a way, as usual, to stage a coup. And that was why we told you no. You cannot organize a rebellion. When the people decide that they want to rebel, they will rebel, including against you, because you have lied to them. 
They look up to you for leadership that you do not have. You have failed them. You have failed the Islamic population in Nigeria. And what people like you should do is to throw in the towel and leave the stage. But we know that you will not want to do that. Yes, the north of Nigeria and Nigeria as a whole deserve to purge their country. The time is about now. And when it starts, no man, no army can stop it. If it is an organic people's revolution, you cannot stop it. Your malams cannot stop it. Your army will not be able to stop it because it will be the power of the people. And when the time for the people to take their country back comes, no power on earth will be able to stop it. So Pharaoh, Pharaohs in the north of Nigeria and their accomplices elsewhere, you must be prepared to let our people go. You must be prepared to allow our people go. My call is not a divisive call to end Nigeria. My call is for the unification and the healing of Nigeria. So brothers and sisters from everywhere in the country can look at one another in the face with love. You hate Nigeria. You hate the people of Nigeria. You are oppressors. You are exploiters. Your time is about up. Goodbye.